We also know millions of gallons of sewage and wastewater spilled into Florida streets and waterways during Hurricane Irma. So as you can imagine, it's left quite the stench behind. Investigative reporter AJ Legault was on your side tonight looking into what's being done to clean up all of the pollution. Gale force winds, torrential downpours, neighborhoods in the dark and underwater. Hurricane Irma brought it all, but it's what she left behind. It was stinky, stinky. It was awful. That has Rhonda Henderson concerned about walking in her own yard. It was all the way up here. It was all up here. All up. I don't like to walk in it because I heard it was sewage stuff. Rhonda heard correctly. JEA environmental incident reports show the pump station adjacent to her home leaked 107,000 gallons of sewage when Irma knocked out power to her international village neighborhood. It was strong. It was real, real strong. The smell was awful. That is just one of 57 known pollution incidents in Jacksonville alone. Warning signs like this can be spotted in neighborhoods across the city. At this Milko Road JEA facility, the stench still burns your nose after 363,500 gallons of wastewater was released due to an equipment failure. That's raw sewage. Here, you're looking at a tributary to Fisher Creek off of 101st Street, where mosquitoes spawn in a glistening stew of putrid waste. Roadside ditches in the area are also filled with it. And as you see that little, that little gray water on top, that sewer. Arthur Jackson is a crew leader for JEA. He and his team have been working nonstop yeah, it done. on cleanup and mitigation efforts across the city. We don't want raw sewage laying on the ground. They're using what Jackson describes as a giant vacuum cleaner to suck up the 256,000 gallons of sewage left behind when this lift station down the street fell victim to Irma. After they're done, another crew will come behind and coat the area in lime. That's all the white stuff you saw spread across Rhonda Henderson's grass and driveway. Put lime all over the killer smell and killer bacteria. And there is no shortage of bacteria. Apparently something happened to my toenail, and so it started swelling. And As this woman, who did not want us to show her face, but allowed us to show her foot, found out. I just didn't realize I had cuts on my feet, and apparently something happened to my toenail and so it started swelling and getting infected. We asked her doctor what caused her staph infection. Multiple different bacteria um, caused by this likely sewage in the flood water. Dr. Pierce Fudge says flood waters coated Florida with a long list of really nasty stuff. Bacteria, staph, strep, uh, different fungi, uh, vibrio, uh, sewage. Medical experts expect the health impact from Irma will be with us for several weeks. We continue to test any water body uh, that might have received some of the uh, sewer from the collection system. Uh, those tests are ongoing. JEA CEO Paul McElroy says the sewage leaks had the potential to cause catastrophic environmental issues. But he claims in Jacksonville the quick confinement efforts by his crews prevented a bad situation from getting worse. Busy, busy. But as Arthur Jackson tells his team, their work is far from done. I got another one for y'all to go to. As the floodwaters recede, the reports of pollution violations to the Florida Department of Environmental Protection have swelled. Now on our website, firstcoastnews.com, we've put links where you can check on the status of cleanup efforts from all the pollution incidents here in Jacksonville and around Florida. AJ Lego, First Coast News, on your side. Definitely want to make sure you have on boots before you wade through any standing water.